Hey YouTube, hope everyone's doing well. Well, as the title shows in this video, um, yeah, I had a heart attack uh, the weekend before the 4th of July. Uh, actually, that uh, Saturday evening into Sunday morning, uh, didn't sleep and had a constant heart pain uh, and chest pains going on. Stayed up all night. And uh, my wife was uh, away at a camp for work. And uh, I was fortunate that uh, my, uh, my parents had my son and was watching him overnight. And um, make a long story short, go to the emergency room on a Sunday, um, get a cardiac cath done, and... Uh, they find out I have multiple blockages in my heart. Um, so they needed to do a quintuple uh, bypass. That's five. Uh, yeah, so uh, five blockages, five bypasses were needed. I'll, uh, I'll put a picture in right now of... Uh, my arm where they got some of the veins from my arm you can see that right now and um, yeah I've got one on my leg not quite as large uh, of a scar where they got some veins from my leg as well um, to do the bypass anyway guys I just wanted to give you an update and I'm actually doing this video uh, I'm, I'm I'm trying something different here. I'm uploading it to my phone uh, with a voice memo. I'm going to try to just put this in video uh, format. Uh, I don't even want to set up the camera and the uh, uh, the tripod and and all that mess. I'm just going to just do a voice recording and uh, upload this in uh, hopes that... Uh, you know, I just wanted to get information out there to all my subscribers and let you know what's going on in my life. Uh, this is going to prompt quite a few videos down the future, uh, in the future, because, you know, when once you have a heart attack and once you have open heart surgery, it kind of puts perspective in your life. Uh, it kind of makes you put everything in order in your life. Um, and I'm not shoving or preaching uh, anything. I don't have any regrets in my life as far as smoking and the way that I've uh, managed my health, um, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, partying hard and, and being young and, and doing, I don't have any regrets. Um, but I, what I've learned from this experience is, you know, I, I'm 41 years old and, and have had a heart attack. So obviously I can't live my next 40 years the way I lived my first 40. And that's changes that I need to make in my life. Um, so yeah, I had surgery on July 1st and, uh, I'll throw in another picture right now of my chest and, uh, yeah, they had to shave me, they shaved my arms, they shaved my legs, and I'm a hairy guy, man, and, uh, but anyway, here's my chest, uh, all sewn back up here. So you see that, uh, yeah, I got a nice scar on my chest as well. Uh, I know that the hair is going to grow over that, uh, probably within six to eight weeks. So I'm going to be on a slow recovery, guys, and I appreciate your patience on this. Um, I will be uploading more videos, but I want you to just kind of think about this as it relates to preparedness. Um, you know, uh, man, my thoughts, you know, I go to the hospital, I go to the emergency room, I end up being in the hospital for, you know, eight to nine days having open heart surgery, coming home, and I'm still recovering, and it's only about 20 days later from surgery, been in the hospital, or, or have, you know, was in the hospital, like, for 23 days ago, 
uh, but I had surgery 20 days ago, something like that. And, uh, man, it's just, it's overwhelming when you think about it from a preparedness standpoint, you know, like if, if you fell off the map and you didn't make it and I died, let's just hypothetically say that that happened, you know, does your spouse have any idea if she is not on board with you or that the other way around, if your husband's not on board with your prepping, you know, they they know that there's food on the shelves, uh, wherever you keep that food. But beyond that, does, do they know where water filters are and fire starters and backup lighters and just all the little things? I mean, does, is it written down anywhere? And, um, I, I know that there's, other channels that have talked about having books and writing things down in case of emergency, you open this book and then, you know, there's everything's kind of listed and, um, and I, lots of people are way more better organized than I am, but it make it prompts these things in your mind, um, that if you don't make it are other people in your family that rely on you, um, are they going to know that they have resources uh, that they don't even know about because you have them in a place that maybe is not, uh, you know, you, you may have them in a box somewhere in the garage or something that they have no idea that, you know, that they have a water filtration system or even how to use it. So this has really prompted a lot of thought process for me. I don't want to make this a long, drawn-out video. I just wanted to kind of give everybody an idea of what's going on with me, so I probably won't be uploading many videos here in the next, uh, I don't know, six to eight weeks or so. And I may, uh, you know, if I get the energy to do it and the time, uh, time I have right now. But I have a lot of family and support right now uh, of people helping me in my life. Uh, and helping my family uh, and and a lot of friends stepping up with uh, helping me watch my son and so my wife can continue to work. And uh, there's just a lot of people stepping up in my life right now. And um, so it's just prompted a lot of thought process. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm not preaching to anybody about smoking or managing diabetes or, you know, I, I've been down this road before with foot surgeries as far as being in hospitals and having surgeries, but never to this extent with having a really, really serious health issue like having open heart bypass surgery. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to kind of throw it out there. I'm only uh, 20 days or, you know, less than three weeks into my recovery right now from surgery so uh i will have more out there uh videos i appreciate everybody uh, uh well wishes and all your kind comments and thoughts i'm sure that will come with this video uh if i don't get to respond to everybody please know that i i am reading all of your comments and and uh and well wishes anyway guys more from me down the road uh the good lord has spared me so i can still make more videos and i appreciate you guys watching and checking in and um hopefully this uh audio quality turned out pretty uh pretty good so uh i may do another video like this in the future until i can get in front of the camera again all right guys thanks and as always if you're not into preparedness you're preparing to fail. Mm -hmm.